Hi everyone, today we will learn how to create a table with new data elements. Uh, after opening the SAP Easy Access, go to the transaction SELF that is about dictionary. Here in this database table, give a table that you have want to create. It. Give the name. Here I'm here in this scenario, I'm gonna go with uh, a company table which has the details of employee, like employee number, employee's name, employee's age, employee's salary. So my table name will be, and it, the table name will be company company table. And it should start with Z. Company underscore tab. Okay. And then click on create. Provide the short description. Table. Choose the delivery class. Here in this scenario, I'm choosing, I'm gonna go with application, application table. A delivery class is nothing but, it, it defines how a database table is going, going to be transported during installations, upgrade, uh, and copies with landscapes, clients, and other custom customer systems. When it comes to the uh, data browser or table view editing, I'm choosing maintenance allowed. That means after the table got created, we can um, we can uh, change the table. We can maintain the table after create creating the table. Move on to the fields tab. The first field will be mandate. It should be a key and initial initial values should be done and the data element will be the same mandate since it is a predefined when I click on enter after after entering data element it will be it's a client field mandate is a client field uh, here here and since I'm it's a company table as I said the first field I'm gonna choose is employee number employee number should be our initial key primary key okay just click on enter uh, to whether to see it is already already defined or it's a new element new data element see nothing employees number is not activated so just double click before before doing this just save it and save it in the package Okay, here I'm gonna go with local object. Okay, uh, to in uh, to create a employee uh, number data element, then double click on it. See the data element does not exist. I want to create a data element. Just click on S. Give the short description of. Uh, for the data element okay employee number now in this data element we need to create domain it should start for your uh, reference it can start with z z and um, employee underscore number just double click on it before uh, before creating domain we need to save the data element okay just click on save i'm saving with temporary local object i want to create the domain yes give the short description for domain employee number 
the number uh, the data type of the employee number should be it can be either alphabetical and numbers included so i'm going with character it can be up to 10 digit there are no decimal places just save this i'm saving with local object check for consistencies there are no consistencies found activate the domain and go back to the data element okay now here the domain is inside the data element and the data element is inside the table okay now uh, i'm i'm giving the field label that is when we enter the entries in the entries of the table these field label we can see it over there okay and number data type see the domain details after activating we can see here it's new so we need to activate data element save it once again check for consistencies no consistencies found then activate the data element now go back to the table see we can see short description now it got activated now i'm going with another another that is employee name underscore name it should not be my primary key since employee names can be multiple i mean two persons can have the same name same name but two uh, persons two employees can't have the same employee number okay that's the reason i'm not giving it, it employee name as primary key that element should start with z again employee underscore name click on enter see it's not active so double click on the employee name that element i want to save and i want to create this data element just click on s give the short description that is employee name the domain it's set set employee name i'm changing it just save it and double click on saving with local object we need to maintain label field Save it. Go to data type. Now we need to create domain. Double click on domain. I want to create the domain since it doesn't exist. That means give the short description. Uh, short description. What will be the data type of the employee name? It must be alphabetical. No numericals will be included. So I'm going with char. this can be 20 i'm saving it local object checking for consistencies and activating it object got activated back now now activate the data element check for consistencies then activate it Again, go back to the table. Now I'll go with employee.
salary. Okay, so salary salaries can be seen for multiple employees so it won't it can't be a primary key set employee underscore salary enter see it's not active double click on the employee salary data element i am saving before and i am going to create the data element of employee salary give the short description employee salary domain zz employee salary why i'm here why i'm taking the double z is to differentiate the data element and the domain C data element have only one Z and the domain has double Z. It's not mandatory, but I'm taking to differentiate that. Double click on the employee salary, save local object, create the domain. Short description employees enter the short description. Data type should be salary can't be alphabetical it should only be numerical so num c only numerical text characters can be up to 10, ten. it can be decimal it can have decimal values so save it the object Check for consistencies. Sorry, I can take only two decimal places. Check for consistencies. Save. Okay, uh, I'll, I'll look into this issue. Decimal places, check for activated. The domain got activated. Now we need to activate that element. Uh, I forgot to give the field label. So, Salary Save it Check for consistencies No consistencies on and then activate it Go back to the table See all the done now I need to do some technical settings I need to keep the data class uh, a data class is uh, nothing but it defines the space for database table where it should be provided physically on the hard drive of a database server so here I'm choosing master data APPLO and the size category size of the table how many fields can it hold see uh, how many records 
uh, I mean data entries so this is the demo so I'm going with zero smallest just save buffering should be not allowed check for consistencies no can not consistent now stars we need to enhance category can be enhanced okay else if we don't enhance the uh, table then further we can't we can't change and we can't do any modifications of the table now try to add, uh, try to save the whole table again check for consistencies no consistencies formed now activate the table see new and got activated now we need to uh, give the entries to the table okay utilities table content create entries employee number will be one uh, hundred and one thousand for example say employee name will be employee one okay employee salary is thousand rupees say just save it database record got successfully saved and I want to give another entry reset thousand one another record employee name will be employee two salary will be two thousand just save now you will check uh, how uh, what where this record uh, whether these records got created I mean su saved successfully or not we'll check these uh, records okay go back contents just execute it you can see our records there are see all the records we have uh, entered that's how you can create a new data element and domain inside the data element thank you for watching